It was the first time indigenous protesters resorted to drastic means. They pelt eggs at the CIP building. What had caused all the rage? It was because the authority were trying to restrict the basic rights of the indigenous peoples. In the past years, under different government, many parts of the indigenous land were turned into public property. This has sparked a series of protests by the locals. In the case of Kadibu community, the Puyuma people were angered since their traditional hunting territory had been zoned into a forest reserve. Let's review the history of the Kadibu hunting incident. On this map of reserve forest number 33, the area marked with the red star was where the hunting Katibu members were stopped by police in 2007. Area 33 has been zoned into Jiban National Forest Recreation Area, but Katibu members insist that the land is part of their traditional territory. The authorities should have negotiated with Puyuma communities instead of unilaterally deciding on the hunting areas for the locals. Kadibu community members hosted Mangayao between December 26, 2007 and January 1, 2008. Prior to the event, they reported their hunting activity to Taidong County government. But on December 31, 2007, two forest police tried to stop Puyuma hunters and it caused an uproar from the locals. On January 22, 2008, Kadibu members went to Taidong County government and shot arrows to the sky to symbolize their protest. They also filed a petition asking the government to respect indigenous people's basic law. The hunting incident at the end of 2007 had united indigenous peoples from all over the country. They were ready to protest against the law, which was restricting their rights to hunt and collect plants on their own territories. On February 28, 2008, close to 40 indigenous communities set off signal smoke simultaneously. On March 8, some thousand members gathered on Katagolan Boulevard in Taipei to demand the government respect the basic law and the indigenous people's natural sovereignty. The hunting incident at Katipo community soon drew the attention of all indigenous groups. They decided to unite to fight for their rights. What's the significance of the incident? It means that all the policies on indigenous peoples are unfair. On March 8, 2008, a representatives from different indigenous groups met with former Vice President Annette Liu to voice their protest. Liu said she respected the views of the indigenous peoples but did not respond to their request. To be honest, it would have been better if the issue were brought up earlier. Why? Because right now we are busy with the presidential election. But I suggest you visit the two presidential candidates and talk about your problems and see how they respond to your demand. A year later, the Katibu members decided to challenge the law in practicing the 2008 Mangayao. They reported their hunting activities directly to the Council of Indigenous Peoples, skipping Taidong County government as required. The locals wanted to declare their hunting rights to the central government. However, the CIP responded by saying the Buyuma people must follow the Wildlife Conservation Act and apply with Taidong County government for permission. The decision sparked yet another rally in early January. During the protest, the members also voiced their opposition to developing Magao Chinese Cypress National Park on the traditional territory of the Dayan people. They also objected to the proposed nuclear waste dumps in two by one communities. The protesters demanded the government respect the cultural, land, and basic rights of the indigenous peoples. TITV Weekly.